Now I'll show you how to find the value A, B, C. Remember, this is the most important part here because most of the question for quadratic equation or quadratic function, you need to recognize the value A, B, C before you can continue to solve the question. Look at A now. You have x times 2x minus 5 equal to 2x minus 1. This is not in the general form of quadratic equation. First, you expand it. You have 2x squared minus 5x, you bring over a 2x, you have minus 2x, bring over 91, you have plus 1 equal to 0. So you have 2x squared minus 7x plus 1 equal to 0. So your a equal to 2, b equal to 97, and c equal to 1. For b here, you have x times x plus 2 equal to px plus 5. Again, this is not in the general form. You expand this, you have x squared plus 2x minus px minus 5 equal to 0. Now to find your abc, you have to group the coefficient of x. You have 2 minus px minus 5 equal to 0. So what is your coefficient x squared here? It is the invisible 1 in front, a equal to 1. b will be the coefficient for x. In this case, is 2 minus p. And c is your constant equal to negative 5. Remember to put a negative here. Some students just put a positive 5. So it's very simple. After you have the general form, your coefficient x squared is a, your coefficient x is b, and the constant is c. For c, you have x squared plus x equal to 3kx minus k squared. So I change to the general form at x squared plus x minus 3kx plus k squared equal to 0. So again, I have to group my x term here. x minus 3kx, I have 1 minus 3kx plus k squared. So my a here equal to 1, b equal to 1 minus 3k, and c equal to k squared. For d, I have 1 minus 2px squared plus 8px equal to 2 plus 8p. So I have to change it to the general form. I have 1 minus 2px squared plus 8px minus 2 minus 8p equal to 0. So now your a equal to 1 minus 2p. Your b coefficient x equal to 8p. And the constant here, c equal to minus 2 minus 8p.